Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel, Sri Tips here. And in this short video, I'm gonna demonstrate a modified process that I use to manufacture these uh, electrode bars for the electrolytic silver cell. I make the stem here out of three quarters of an ounce of a fine silver crystal. And then I make the electrode bar itself the one that weights the silver, the impure silver shot inside the anode basket down. I make that out of two troy ounces of pure silver crystal. And I just want to demonstrate a modified method with two torches to heat the mold up better to allow the silver to flow into the mold a little bit better than the first two electrode bars that I made. Those are functional, they're fine. And uh, they aren't very pretty, but this in here is looking a little bit better. I'm getting a little bit better at it. And uh, when I get done with this, we'll post this on my eBay store and put it up for sale. So here we go. I'm going to try to talk us through this process here. I've got the uh, pure silver crystal, two toy ounces in that uh, melt dish there. Uh, to the right, that's a propane torch that's been preheating the mold. In the mold, I have the uh, stem for the uh, electrode bar being held by the vice grips there and suspended in that third cavity of the, uh, of the graphite mold there. On the right is the map gas torch and out of the shot there, out of view, I've got a, a ring stand set up with a clamp so that I could uh, hold the map gas bottle and uh, direct that flame down at the cavity where I intend to pour the two troy ounces of silver that's in the uh, melt dish there. I'm using the oxy acetylene torch to do the actual melt of the uh, pure silver crystal that's in that melt dish. And when I get the, uh, the silver to a uh, molten state where it's going to be easy to pour, I'll start up the uh, map gas torch. And uh, here we go right here. I'm going to start the map gas torch and uh, get that cavity and the stem heated up so that when I pour the uh, molten silver in there, the uh, silver will flow around the stem and fill the uh, graphite mold cavity completely. In the previous pours, the side closest to us in this shot of the cavity, the uh, silver wasn't flowing into that area because that area of the mold wasn't getting hot enough. Having those two torches on the mold and directed uh, into that cavity during the pour made the bar flow, made the silver flow more uniformly into the cavity and create a pretty nice looking bar here. And uh, the stem gets heated up and the uh, molten silver will surround that stem and weld to it so that we get a good electrical contact going down through our electrolytic silver cell. And now I'll stamp three tips on the bar. This bar will be offered up for sale on my eBay store. A link to it will be in the description of this video.